Hi everybody, this is Corey at More Music in Evansville, Indiana and MoreGuitars.com. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Dark Glass Alpha Omega 900 Centurion model. This is a, an extremely powerful amplifier, 900 watts at its lowest ohm setting with a ton of features that is going to appeal to uh, not only classic rock players, metal players, uh, really love the Dark Glass stuff. Uh, there's a purpose for all of this in your playing. So let's go through a, a few of the features that this has. It has a six band equal, equalization section. Starts at 80 hertz, which is a rumbly, tumbly kind of uh, uh, area. 80 hertz is, is the lowest notes on your bass, close to the lowest notes on your bass, and is really sculptable. It also goes all the way up to, to five kilohertz, uh, so you can add a whole lot of sparkling highs if you like a, a snappy sound or a more progressive bass sound. You can get that just out of the EQ section. It also features a variable compressor. The compressor is a very usable single knob, so you don't have to worry about setting the right ratio, whatever. You just set it to where it sounds best for you and the sound engineer that you're working with. So without it on, it allows pretty well allows any signal to pass through. Uh, all the highs and lows in your attack uh, will come through. As you dial the knob up, it will, what they call, squash the signal a bit. So you heard a, a bit of, I have a clean sound now. I'll play just a little bit for you. Now I'll turn that compressor up and compress the signal pretty heavily and you can see what it does. As you can tell, it takes the harsh attacks and brings them down to a manageable level. You still get your fundamental bass tone through there. Uh, it doesn't mess with the equalization. Uh, and is very usable on stage. I prefer just a slight amount. Sometimes my right hand gets a, a little carried away and I have clicks and slaps and all that good stuff. The compression is gonna help you uh, eliminate those, those things. It does have a passive and active setting for the input. So if you're using an active bass, you can depress that active switch. It will drop your signal uh, a bit into the preamp and uh, will give you a much cleaner sound. I'm using a passive uh, humbucking style pickup guitar, this uh, sweet Gibson Les Paul. And uh, yeah, from there we get into the Alpha Omega drive engine. This thing has been revolutionary in hard rock and metal music. A uh, lot of bands have gone to this as a way to get more grit and more dirt out of their bass player signal without sacrificing any low end. This thing is extremely usable. It features a uh, drive and level knobs. The level is your overall volume. Uh, the drive is the amount of distortion that you want. I'll turn that drive engine on and play a little bit at a low drive setting. You can tell there's just a little bit of what I would call hair on the signal, just enough to make it uh, sound a little bit gnarly. Now I'm going to turn it up all the way to the 3 o'clock position and you'll hear a, a massive difference. So you can get as woolly as you like uh, if you're playing really aggressive music. Sometimes you want that really aggressive tone. The Alpha and Omega mods are two separate gain structures. Now I'm going to play on the Alpha for just a minute.
Now I'm going to turn all the way to the Omega. To my ears, the Alpha seems to be a more vintage, a little bit warmer uh, distortion. The Omega seems to be a more modern, uh, brighter sound. I'm going to keep it set uh, for the remainder just about in the center. Uh, we also have a blend knob, and this is super important for me as a working bass player. Anytime I've had distortion pedals, as soon as I click on it, all of a sudden all the bottom end drops out, and it's like, where's the bass player? Well, now manufacturers have come to realize our problem and have actually listened to us. Way to go, manufacturers. And uh, they've added a blend knob. So what the blend knob does is it blends your clean or dry signal along with your wet or affected signal in any ratio that you want. So I'll turn this all the way to the left. And you can hear that this is uh, primarily the clean tone. You may hear just a little bit of that, that hair that I was speaking of earlier. Now let me turn it all the way so that it is nothing but affected signal. And you can hear the difference. Like I said, to my ears, it sounds like I, I have lost a little bit of low end by turning it all the way up. So for the rest of this, I will keep it situated right in the center. Let's take a listen. The Dark Glass Alpha Omega 900 comes with a smart switch. Uh, uses a standard quarter inch instrument cable. I'm going to reach down here. You might see the uh, solar panel for a bass machine. So watch your eyes. And that wasn't so bad, was it? So here is the intelligent foot switch that, that comes with it. It has a power on. Also, you can click once quickly to turn the distortion on and off. Or you can hold on to the pedal and when you hold on to it, now the, the amplifier is muted. So you can tune, um, go grab a drink at uh, the watering hole, whatever you need to do. But there's that. One simple click and you're back in business. So really, really is a nice foot switch. Um, metal housed, very nice momentary knob switch on it. Uh, great device to go with it. Here comes the solar panel again. All right, on the back, we have lots of options for routing your signal. It does come with two combination speak on or quarter inch uh, outputs for the speaker outs. So you can run any, anything from a single cabinet like what I have here uh, to a full stack of cabinets with this much wattage you could easily push uh, two four tens and be able to rattle glasses off your neighbor's walls, um, which is always kind of cool until the cops show up. Not that that's ever happened, but it may have. Um, we also have MIDI in and out on this. Uh, so it is MIDI controllable. You can hook it up to your MIDI rig. If you have a pedal board that's situated with a MIDI controller, you can um, put this in line with your, your MIDI rig and control this amplifier with your MIDI rig turning the distortion on and off. It also has uh, a headphone out and an auxiliary in so you can practice silently. Along with that it has cabinet simulators which is uh, used depressing a, a button. There are three different cabinet simulators. It also has a USB in and out so that you can import other cabinet uh, simulators that you find on either Dark Glass's uh, website or uh, other sources. Um, also features pre, both pre-DI, pre-gain, and post 
gain DIs. So if you want a clean signal out of the amplifier that is just the sound of your bass, clean with no effects or no equalization, you would use the pre-DI. Uh, if you want all of the goodness that's packed on the front of this, you would use the, the post-DI. We're running direct into our board using the post-DI along with the microphone in front for today's purposes. Uh, also features a, uh, an effects loop. So if you have uh, modulation effects, if you're like me, you like to throw a phaser on there every now and then or a chorus or whatnot, you can run that in your effects loop and be able to uh, control it from there. Um, I'm going to have to look, make sure I didn't forget anything because this thing is so packed. Looks like that is about it as far as the ins and outs. It will run all the way down to two ohms, uh, so you can get the full 900 watts out of it, which really is enough to uh, possibly find the brown note. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. The internet is a, both a strange and wonderful place. Uh, check it out. We have this limited edition Centurion model. It's decorated in red. Um, along with a really awesome Gundam uh, etched into it uh, and along the sides. Check it out, moreguitars.com. I really think you're going to love it. I'm going to play out a little bit of some Sabbathy style riffage through this wonderful distortion. <laughs>